Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. We're going to talk about something today that might surprise you, and it's something that can help you heal. You may be suffering, or maybe somebody you know suffering from anxiety, depression, maybe there was a trauma at one point in your life, maybe there was one and you don't realize it, and that's kind of navigating your life at this point. She has a great organization that helps people heal from all of this. The The organization is Healing Hearts, Healing Minds. Today, we're going to look at something called creative writing. Now, when I say those two words, like you, you probably have different views of what that is, but it can be used to help you move forward in your life, help you heal. Let's learn about that. Beatrice Simbernoff is back with us. Welcome back, Beatrice. How are you? Thank you so much, Steve. Uh, happy to be here. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you back. You always have some amazing insight on all of this stuff. A lot of mm -hmm. stuff that I I wonder about and you validate it. Before we even begin, let's just talk about the mission of Healing Hearts, Healing Minds, uh, what your goals are in terms of helping people. Certainly, certainly. So we are devoted to helping, educating, and empowering individuals uh, to uh, to overcome any sort of trauma, particularly people suffering uh, from anxiety or depression or the loss of a loved one, which all of them uh, bring a, a lot of things uh, that need to be looked at, explored. Uh, they need to come to the light, to the conscious mind in order to heal. And uh, by teaching individuals uh, various, a wide array of tools, uh, they can tap and they can learn how to tap uh, into their own innate ability to heal, which we have inside of us, all of us, but has yet to become uh, much more well accepted in the mainstream, in the society in which we live. It has to become accepted, embraced, welcomed, uh, integrated, uh, and applied, of course, in our daily life for it to be effective and for it to be uh, successfully uh, done. Uh, and, and by doing so, we offer an array of different healing modalities, if you will, that are safe, that are natural to both the body and the mind, and, and that are non-invasive and that also have proven scientifically to give good, positive outcomes. Creative writing is, is one of those um, healing modalities that, of course, it's totally safe, no side effects, very natural because we are um, created with the power of creation and to be creative. And for any human being to feel to feel fulfilled, regardless of what we decide to do on a professional level, um, on even uh, how we create and sustain and navigate towards all our relationships, we need to apply the power of creation and to be creative. And when we mm. do that, we really tap into a, a, a great sea of power. When we are not creative and when we shift or are forced to be in the flight of fight a, a direction and when we have too much anxiety when we have too much distress either both physically or emotionally then that kind of shuts down our creativity it shuts us down so this modality is used to help individual come out of that and utilizes mm -hmm. the word, the word, the written word, in order to um, reclaim itself. It reclaims uh, parts of ourselves. It acknowledges all who we are. It um, it can help us reframe life experiences. Uh, those that are good, those that are positive, or we name positive versus those that are negative, and to be able to 
see it with a different view, with a different eye, with a different color, so to speak. Changing the perspective can change the entire view of how we view the life story of our lives. And in doing so, we can definitely heal from the inside out. This is what it's all about. And it can be so simple. So when we talk about, well, two things here, creative writing, but creativity, if we put that to the side, creativity to this side over here, we can be creative in many different ways. Our lives are creative. When you think about even driving uh, in traffic, you need to get somewhere. How am I going to do that? I'm going to be a little Forward. creative. I'm going to make Forward. a turn here, turn here, turn here. Creativity is is everywhere. I'm usually the first one to tell people who are going through some challenges, write it down. Write down what you're thinking, what your plan is, because our minds are so jumbled. It's just like all these things are ricocheting inside our heads and you, and you can't really get a focus on it. And then that's going to lead to anxiety. And so I'm, I'm really intrigued uh, as to what, what for you creative writing looks like what you're suggesting? It, it takes several forms, uh, depending upon, uh, obviously, what the individual is going through. Uh, it can take the form of simply um, asking the right type of questions and engaging, encouraging, and directing the individual with very specific questions about the situation that is disturbing them. And then writing it out, so, so that they can see various perspectives um, that they hadn't considered before. And mm. then we, we, then, then we um, are able to um, take that information and shed some light and then release it, utilizing a combination of the healing modalities that I, I do with them. So, but they can come into more clarity about their own thoughts, acknowledge their own feelings, um, and see and see the situation for what it is, and then uh, ascertain various solutions that they hadn't even thought about or considered up until they're actually writing it out. So, so the, you're opening the lines of communication mm -hmm. within yourself and, and all sorts of things come out um, in that process. So it's a very, very therapeutic and healing healing modality. That's one way. It can be as simple with, um, I've had a couple of clients just being extremely distressed in, 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 in a, at any time, but particularly now with regards, she lost her job. Mm. So that, uh, cut, you know, that was the catalyst of, yeah getting her into a, a very um, anxious situation financially, but survival, on a survival, she was on a survival mode. And many times, and we look at it just negatively, but many times, because we're taught and we're conditioned, we're socialized it, just to look at the negativity first. So we can bring a different aspect and I can direct her uh, to look at it at a different way. And that would be, considering that perhaps, just perhaps the universe is signaling to her that it was time to move forward anyway. And if she writes about it in, in a structured way, given the questions that a trained practitioner would be able to do in this regard, then she could see other possibilities and other alternative views in which to, to look at the situation. And many, many occasions it happens to be that the universe is just, you know, mm -hmm. moving you in that direction and you don't even know it or you don't even catch it because your mind is not going there. But so by, by expanding your perspective a little bit beyond the limited perception that one is very used to just going there by, by, by custom, by tradition, by habit, whatever it may be, then they cannot see it. So we help the individual see beyond the limited conception, perception about the situation per, per, uh, per se. And it, so it happens that I heard from her many weeks later and the job that she was able to attain 
was a much better fit for her anyway, a much better match. Sure. Uh, provided more in every which way, provided more uh, financial resources, it provided uh, more freedom, but it provided a much better alignment with regards to the purpose, um, with regards to the way she saw her purpose in life would be. So just, just one example. We have created at Healing Hearts, Healing Minds, a very, I would say, really beautiful meaningful program that taps into creative writing. We call it the legacy, the legacy mm -hmm. program. And this is a program that of course, again, utilizes the word to, to, um, to put forth in your life and to see your life story in many different, in many different ways, uh, in a much more expansive way. It puts in writing what it really matters most in life. So you're able to share through that modality, you're able to share with yourself, with your loved ones, with other family members, with the community at large, uh, the la your life lessons, your life stories, your life experiences, your triumphs, your challenges, and how you came to overcome it. And, and this is also very, very, uh, done in a very directed, structured way, and the individual is able to bring forth and express themselves in a way that they could have never thought that that they could do it in this way. So when we talk about the, call it the legacy letter, you provide the format for it so that somebody can just respond to the questions and because a in lot of us practice, sometimes yes. are challenged in terms of writing even absolutely. when absolutely even simple it, stuff you know we're not really sure how what we should be doing correct i mean this is a, a very common thing you know we're in fact one of the uh, limited perceptions that people have or resistances that people have in engaging in this type of exploration is because well I'm not a writer I'm not a writer and and I wouldn't even know what how to put or what to put or where should I begin or what things should I consider what should I include how should I write it this is all taken care of in the program we we teach you we teach you various different methodologies that a person can use in triggering memories and situations and life stories by very simple questions so we we, you know, we hold the hand of the individual by means of very structured questions, and then they can answer those questions and slowly, slowly they put all the pieces together and then it can be crafted in, in a beautiful, beautiful legacy where you are transmitting truly what it is that you want the next generation of your loved ones to know about you, to know about you. And, and what mattered in your life and how you overcame challenges and how you hopes, you hope that your loved ones would emulate about you and what you hope that your loved ones don't repeat the same so-called quote-unquote mistakes because there are no mistakes in yeah, life. They're, they're in, lessons. Reality, <laughs> in, 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 the, in the truer reality. So then by means of these structure exercises, we guide the individual how to frame their thoughts um, in, in, in a way that it crafts this beautiful letter for, for future, for remembrance. And it mm. has very, very positive impact, both on the individual who's writing it, as much as the individual who's uh, um, receiving it and uh, reading it and integrating it. it it's, it's, it's a fabulous thing that I think everybody at certain point in their life should do, should do. What do you think the barriers are that somebody might have in terms of getting started with this modality? The barriers um, are more a, an illusion of the mind. So for example, a person might think or might have the perception that their life it was really ordinary, mm. really ordinary. I'm not anybody famous. I'm not an, a, 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 you know, a famous writer. Sure. I'm not a, a scientist. I haven't had any 
like uh, extraordinary, I'm not an elected official, and so on and so forth. A quite ordinary person. And so they may feel that they don't have really much of value to share with either the family members, their loved ones, or the community. So they don't, they stay away. When in reality, an alternate view of reality is you may be someone where we all, all craft our life story in a very, very unique way. And uh, everything is of value. And it's of value for you to, re to evaluate one's life, to see what you want to adjust in the future. And you offer an opportunity for other people to lead lives. You can be an ordinary and live your life in an extraordinary way. And that's, that's true, truly amazing. That would be one perception. Um, another person may perceive themselves like, um, oh, I, I think that if I if I write what I what I want them to do or how they I think they should live their life, they might think that I'm I'm a pompous, arrogant individual, and I don't want to be perceived that way. I don't want to tell anybody how to live their life. That can be one another kind of distorted, limited perception. When in reality, if you write from your heart, if you write with, you have great intentions. If you write, how just sharing your life experience in hopes that it helps someone else and guide them in, in a way that may be more positive for them, you're definitely not going to be viewed in a in a in a detrimental light. So. It, it, the person can have limited perceptions that can obstruct uh, the view of why to engage. Or somebody may say, I'm very busy. I really, really don't have time for this thing. I know I speak to them all the time. I'm sure they know how I am. I'm sure they know my life. I'm sure they're learning by just knowing me. Maybe, maybe not. It is very important, just the process of going through the writing exercises. It can be even a paragraph or two. The, the, the exploration exercise, it can run from a couple of paragraphs to a few pages. It depends on the individual. But the more you do it, the more things come to the mind that you want to share and you want to share. And, and, and the questions that we offer the individual will will uh, trigger, will illuminate, will will bring forth this type of memories and situations all through the, your life, different things that definitely the individual will will want to definitely share. And um and and, well, you know, and Beatrice other... at this point, can you show us? Do you have an example of maybe what a legacy letter might might look like? Is that even possible? Yes, it's possible. It, 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 so give me just a moment because I, I think uh, um, uh, I can I can share an excerpt. I can share an excerpt of uh, my own uh, my own letter, legacy letter uh, to to my daughter. Uh, so. Mm. And my legacy letter uh, took me quite a while to uh, uh, to do uh, because, as I said, this is not uh, done in one sitting. This can take some time and 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 to do. So let me give you an excerpt, um, one paragraph or two, just to right. for the audience and the listeners to get an idea. So among the many many things that I wrote. Um, for her, I said as follows. Life is about exploring and pushing beyond your comfort zones. So don't be afraid of making quote-unquote mistakes. What I have come to learn much later in life is that the so-called mistakes we make are not mistakes at all. They were just part of a much larger picture that only God knows part of my divine life plan, all playing out for my benefit. The larger picture uh, that is playing out for my benefit, although I may not understand it or like it at all. All I have to do is just to see it that way and trust and trust 
and trust some more. I also have learned that pain and struggle leads us to seek more, to give more, and to reveal more. I've also learned that faith, as someone I'm not, I don't know his or her name, said, faith is the ability to see God in the dark. So go out and feed your faith and all your fears will starve to death. I pray that you live a bond with each person you meet, that you live respecting your own integrity and honor, that you live within the energy of love and compassion and return to that energy when things don't feel right, that you live making wise and blessed choices with your will to maintain perceptions of wisdom and non-judgment toward yourself and others. I pray that you learn to release the need to know why things happen as they do and not to project expectations over how you want the day to be or how you want others to be. And finally, that you love and trust the beautiful and amazing person that you are, that you trust God and in his divine plan. This is uh, a small, small excerpt of many, many pages that I wrote. Uh, wow. Wow. Um, but, fascinating. Uh and, and what you even said there is so powerful about your faith. And for those that don't want to connect it to religion, you don't need to. Just faith in yourself will starve your fears and just it'll squash them down. And Correct. we don't, I don't think we realize it's, that. It's not about religion in terms of faith, it's about spirituality. Are sure. you living and the connection to spirituality? And that's very important because that is a critical aspect of the work that we do at Healing Hearts. Sure. Because we find that when there is a vacuum in any connection to 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 living a life in a in a spiritual oriented way, then then it, it's a lot easier to fall into despair and to fall into um anxiety, depression and what have you much harder to come out. But if you are connected strongly to a faith, to your spiritually speaking, and a perception that that things are in a, all, all the time in a fluctuation more and they will change and you have faith, uh, it's a lot easier to come back to center, to reclaim your power, as we say, your power, tap into healing innate, healing abilities, and and, and come out a much stronger individual all the way around and at all levels of their being. Wow. I noticed that you said that that letter was written to your daughter. When you do a legacy letter, is it intended for one particular person or can you just write a legacy letter in general? You can write a legacy letter in, in general. Um, you can write a legacy letter uh, uh, you know, again, about yourself to your, to the to the loved ones, uh, to the community, people who uh, don't have children uh, but have had uh, a, a rich uh, life or, or any life, they can write a legacy letter to their community, to the society, to um, someone who was special for them. It, it can be written not only for loved ones and family. And this is a really that this is truly one of the most meaningful gifts that you sure. can give yourself and others. I love, uh, and we're we're out of time, but I love the fact that it does two things: it shows somebody else or everybody else what you're thinking and what you're about and what you believe in, because you know yeah. you could be so close to somebody and not know truly what 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 they think and how they operate, Correct. but also the letter lets you let it out. Exactly. And there, therein lies the healing, the healing potential, amazing healing potential, yeah. just simply engaging in that process because you see more and more is revealed sure. both to yourself in clarity and for others to yes. see you as, as you would like to be remembered. Mm. Yeah. As you would like to be remembered by others. Clarity is, I think, the best word for all of us. It gives you clarity, and it also yes. gives somebody else, your daughter, 
better yes. clarity on what you stand for, what you believe in, who you really yes. are. Uh, and, Beatrice, and, and, and you move forward in a much more meaningful way. You give yes. meaning to to all the life experiences, whether they were good or all of them, the good the, the, and the not so good. But they 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 reclaim a meaning, a new meaning. Um, amazing how that can help you heal. And that's how it works. Beatrice, how do we connect with you? If somebody wants to learn more about healing hearts, healing minds, how do they do that? Please visit my website at www.healingheartshealingminds or contact me directly through my uh, number, 561-599-1201. We look forward to hearing from, from you, uh, from your listeners. We look forward to uh, extending our, our love and gratitude. Love it. Uh, get creative and heal. Fantastic. Thank you, Beatrice, uh, for today. Loved every moment of it and uh, learned a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for everything again. Blessings. Thank you. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.